Brews Under Review. Thanks for stopping by and joining me for yet another beer review. I appreciate it. Uh, tonight, having a look at one from Judas Cell. Uh, my buddy Cole brought this over. He said, this beer is it, man. This is what I've been drinking. He's just in love with it, and I had to try it and review it. So thanks for hooking me up, buddy. That's pretty sweet. Okay, Rigamortis Mortis app, which is their... Uh, Extra strong Abbey style brown ale, 10.5% ABV. Uh, yeah, they're uh, out of Montreal, Quebec, here in Canada. So, yeah, I'm excited for this one. Let's get it popped and poured. Yeah, do to sell make really, really good beers, so. Let's, let's see what this one's all about. Bottle condition. Every beer they do is bottle condition. I'm pretty sure of that. Wow. Give you guys a look. Hope you can see that. Murky. Very murky. Cannot see through that. It's just super cloudy too. It's like a swampy kind of look. Dark brown. Mm. Has a really nice kind of creamy head on it though. Really like a light tan. Really creamy looking though. From the top anyway. Let's check out the aroma on Rigor Mortis. I'm gonna get a bit of coriander. It's like a maybe just a touch of a pepperiness. A little bit of lemon in there. Mm, yeah, there's a bit of lemony quality in that for sure. Coriander, lemony, peppery. Mm, smells really nice. Really nice. Let's get into it. Cheers. You can you can tell it's big. I mean, it has a big mouthfeel. There's a, just a big presence to the beer as soon as you take a sip on it. Man, I almost thought it was gonna be too much there, but it really quickly just smooths down, calms down, and wow, ten and a half percent. The flavor is almost spot on to the aroma. Almost like a bit of this lemon kind of candy quality though. A bit of that residual sweetness. Maybe just a, it's a bit of bitterness too. Very mild bitterness. I almost say there's like a touch of like a brown sugar taste there as well. Very interesting. Yeah. Water, malted barley, sugar, wheat, hops, yeast. Maybe like some Belgian sugar or that, uh, man, I can't think of those sugars off there, but definitely some of that sweetness in there. You can pick that up. It kind of gives you that brown sugar quality. A bit floral on that aroma as well. And so quite a bit going on. Yeah, definitely not a simple beer. It's got a bit of complexity to it. It's a sipper. At least, well, for most people. But maybe not for Cole. He, he said this was just unbelievable how smooth and easy it was to drink. For my style of beer, I couldn't see crushing this one. It's really good, but just not that style of beer for me. 
Yeah, that, uh, the alcohol legs that just coat the glass and just stick there. Wow, very, very interesting beer. If you, if you like that, the Belgians, the Abbeys, you know, the, uh, the quads, triples, that style, I think you would just be all over this. You would just love it. It's, it is a little bit different than typical, but it's it's quite delicious too. Another quick sip and give this a reading. Okay, guys. For me, from Residue Cell, <laughs> the rigor mortis sap. I'm gonna go with 84. I think it's pretty excellent stuff. Yeah, worth trying if you get your hands on this one. It's definitely worth picking up. And thank you, Cole, for hooking me up with that. I appreciate that, brother. And yeah, thank you guys for stopping by, checking out the review. Till next time, cheers.